welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa, also known as Certified Winner, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, I spent a lot of money on garage swimsuits. If this is the first time you are seeing my face, hello, welcome, it's nice to meet you. Feel free to like this video and subscribe down below. I put out videos every single Wednesday and I would hate for you to miss out. If this is not your first time seeing me, hello, welcome back, it's good to see you. Now, as most of you probably know, if you've been watching my hauls for a little while, I am an avid online shopper. And by this, I mean I rarely set foot in a mall to actually go buy things, although I do work in retail. Most of the clothes I get are usually online. And it's not even online as in like brands that only do online, such as regular Instagram brands or like Fashion Nova, Shein, Zoffel, Romwe, like those kind of brands that don't even have a store. It's literally stores that you can find in a mall. I just for some reason would rather shop online. I don't know if it's because I need to like visually see it on somebody else before I can like it, or if it's just the fact that usually things come in my size online and a lot of the times, because I'm such a common size, if I actually go into the store majority of the time my size is actually sold out so with all of that said about me liking to online shop I thought it would be a great idea to actually go into a mall and buy some swim items because the postal service itself is taking a lot longer so even if you are ordering items from a store that you can get in a mall Sometimes things take up to a month or more to get to you and I needed to put out this haul sooner than later because I was not going to wait until August to start doing swim hauls because summer is now people want to look cute on Instagram in their pool So I went out and actually got these swimsuits in real life I went to garage and I actually bought two hundred and twenty nine dollars worth of swimwear and believe you me it was actually a lot harder than I thought or I guess exactly as hard as I thought it was going to be because they were sold out in my size in pretty much every item so as always links to all of these items will be down below if i can manage to find them online because like i said i bought these in store but my measurements are always in the description box so if you guys either want to use me as a size comparison or if i'm in and around the same size as you you're going to know more or less how these fit so without any further ado let's just get right into this video and start trying on some swimsuits so the first swim set I got was this peachy orange swim set. Now when I say set, I mean set because they don't actually come together. This was just the closest I could find to a swim set. So the bottoms are obviously a little more orange and these are more of a peachy color, but it was the best I could do because like I said, they didn't have my sizes in anything. So the top itself I got in a size small and it was $26.95. I actually really like it because this notch is wired like there's a wire inside that keeps it upright so I think that's going to be really really flattering it does come with cups but very very thin cups so don't expect this to be like a push-up or anything it's literally just for like nipple coverage the back clasp is plastic or actually yeah I don't know if it's painted metal or plastic, but I'm pretty sure it's plastic and the straps are adjustable. I really like the texture. I'm noticing that ribbed textures are really, really in recently and I am not complaining. I think it's super, super cute. For the bottoms, these are a super high rise and they are pretty cheeky. Like they're definitely not a total thong or at least I don't think it will be, but the butt cheeks are definitely out there. Like sun's out and the buns are out with it. This one is also ribbed and it's pretty much the same like thin kind of fabric as the top, which is why I think this is technically supposed to go with this top. It's just the colors that aren't matching. I got these bottoms in a small and they cost me $22.95. So in total, this swimsuit was like $44. So let's try it on. All right, so the first one I am trying on is basically the only more or less matching set that I have because like I said in the intro, basically none of these bikinis are going to be matching. This is pretty much the closest I could get to a matching set. The oranges are slightly off, like the bottoms are a little more orange than the top, which is more of like a peachy color, but I figured that was about as good it was as good as it was going to get. So in terms of this swimsuit specifically, I really, really like the top. 
It comes with kind of like a metal wiring here, so it keeps this notch really, really structured. And although there's no padding in it, I feel very, very supported. It's basically just like a bra where it has the strap. And it's one of these like loop clasps where at first I always had a lot of trouble with them slash I still do, but it's not that bad anymore. The bottoms, however, are another story. So with these bottoms, they're very, very high-waisted. As you can see, they show off a lot of leg. They're supposed to make your legs look extra, extra, super long. The only thing that really, really bugs me is that you can slightly see a camel toe in these. And it's not like blaringly obvious, but it's obvious enough that it bothers me. And weirdly enough, like it leaves a little bit of extra fabric in the sides. I don't know if I'm just being extra picky, but when I just put these on, I genuinely thought they were way too big for me. And you can kind of see in the back, if I move the tag, there's a lot of scrunching like right here. And again, I don't know if it's because it's too big for me, but if I try to like move it outwards like that, you totally can, but I have a feeling that's just not how it's supposed to fit. Like after moving around and stuff in it, it goes right back to this where it scrunches at the butt, which I really don't like. Now these are super cheeky and I think all of the bottoms I got are more or less really, really cheeky. And once again, it's just because all of the other bottoms were sold out. I don't know why nothing came in my size anymore. I might just be late to the game, but that is that. When it comes to this swimsuit, I would definitely buy the top and I would also keep it if it was gifted to me. But as for the bottoms, I think I would not buy it, first of all. And second of all, if it was gifted to me and I had the option to return it, I think I would. So this second swimsuit is basically where these sets pretty much no longer become sets and they're just two swimsuits that I think would look really cute together because like I said, lots of things were sold out, like a crazy amount of things. Anyways, the top that I got was this really cute white sports bra-esque top, if I can pick it up. Huh. <sighs> sports bra-esque top it has a nice little cut out in the front which i think is going to be really cute and it's got thick straps for my bigger busted lady friends the back pretty much looks exactly like the front just without the cutout so with this one there is nothing that's adjustable the straps are not adjustable the band not waistband but like the bust band the bust band is not adjustable either so for this one if you're going to order it you definitely need to know your size I always wear a size small so when I went into the store I wanted to try to spend I guess as little time as I could in the store just because of everything that's happening um, so I just grabbed a small I didn't bother trying it on and it cost me $16.95 so the bottoms that I got with these ones are the Ibiza bottoms and I thought they would look really really nice with the white top just like a nice lavender and white scenario. I don't know what it is but I've been really really into this color this summer. That and yellow. Usually my go-to color is like a blush pink but this summer I've been all about lavender and all about yellow. Anyways these bottoms are pretty much the same as the first set of bottoms that I showed you except they are not ribbed they're just like the regular swimsuit material. They will go just as high waisted and the leg holes will also go like super high up. I think those will make you look really leggy and that is great for me because I actually have a long torso and short legs. So I tend to go for things that are very, very high-waisted and make my legs look longer than they actually are. So this next one I got is the first of the lavender and white mismatched sets. For some reason, they had two lavender bottoms available in my size and two white tops available in my size. But anyways, this is how the top fits. Again, it has no padding. And for this one, I think I would actually prefer for it to have a little bit of padding. If you're wondering why I'm like moving off and looking, it's because my mirror is right here. But basically, I'm not a huge fan of it because it's slightly, just in the slightest, slightest bit, see-through. I also think I could definitely use a size down in this because not only is it super stretchy, but it leaves a lot of space in general. Like right here, it's kind of just like floppy. So if I were to get it, I would get it in an extra small instead of a small. In terms of the bottoms, so I realized while editing that I fully swapped the two bikini bottoms. So the one that you're looking at right now is actually the swimsuit bottom that's supposed to be with set number three. And then the swimsuit bottom that you see in set number three actually belongs to set number two. Um, 
sorry about that is because I always film like me I guess like unboxing everything or explaining all the stuff first and then I actually try it on after so I think when I tried it on I swapped them by accident so my bad guys I know it's a little confusing but I just figured I'd let you guys know. All right, you can go back to the video now. These are actually really, really nice. I like them a lot. I like the material, I like the cut, and I really, really like the fit. It's a small, so I'm wearing my regular size, so you don't have to size up or down in these. These fit true to size. In terms of the butt, it has some ruching over here, which I really, really like. I love ruching bottoms and they're slightly cheeky. They're not adjustable though. Like they're not the side tie ones. So if you're going to get this one, either try it on in store or really make sure you know your size. At the end of the day, if this top was gifted to me, I think I would return it just because it's see-through and I'm obviously not buying it. But when it comes to the bottoms, I would buy them and I would keep them if they were gifted to me because they just fit really well. They're very, very comfortable. And I love this ruching detail in the back. So the next swim set is going to be another white and lavender set, but the top for this one is definitely a little more decorative. Now it comes with this notched pattern in the front and the back actually does come with a metal clasp, which is great, but the straps, I was gonna say sleeves, the straps are also non adjustable. So it comes with padding which is removable and it has this nice ribbed design which like I said has been really really popular. It's a little different from the peach notch one because this one actually doesn't have the metal inside so I feel like it's going to be a little less structured but probably still nice. I'm actually really excited for this one because I think it looks really really cute and it cost me $26.95 and I actually got it in an extra small instead of a small which I think makes more sense because usually I am an extra small but because I just like a little more coverage I tend to get a small but yeah I guess they didn't have any smalls left so I picked up an extra small in terms of the lavender bottoms these ones are actually a little bit almost of a metallic -y swim which is a little nicer than just like a plain swim I think it just gives a little bit more pizzazz as you can see it's also ruched on the bum which I love and it's not as high waisted like these ones are cut pretty straight across so they're definitely cut like hip huggers instead of the ones that like pull all the way to your waist which is also very very flattering I don't see anything wrong with this cut either with hip huggers like this though it does tend to accentuate my longer torso and kind of shortens my legs so if you were the other way around and you have like super super long legs and for some odd reason you would like to make them shorter hip huggers I think would work really well for you so let's try this outfit on together I got the bottoms in a small for $19.95 so together with quick math this costs about $47. All right, so for this bathing suit, I was really, really looking forward to the white top on this one because it did have cups and I really like the notching pattern. But quite frankly, once you put it on, it's, I don't really know how to explain this. Like it's not swimsuit material. Like it is, but it isn't. Like it's ribbed, so it just feels like a really fine ribbed top, especially with the notching, I don't know. I kind of wish it was like the peach suit that I tried on first, where there was actually like a metal wire here keeping it shape. Cause yes, it's notched, but it just kind of like flails out like this. And that's not, that's not what I had in mind. Like I expected it to kind of be structured and just kind of have the notch. So that's point one. Point two is I'm not too sure what these cups are doing. Like you can very, very clearly see that this has cups. Like you can see the outline of the cup. And I would think a brand like Garage would at least have the decency to make the cup match the shape of the top. So maybe have it be like this kind of thing, like those cups like basically these but turned sideways because like it's just two like mcdonald's arches and it looks really really dumb the next thing i want to say about the top is the clasp on the back of this one is a metal clasp and not a plastic one so i think that is a good plus slash bonus for these ones because the peach one I'm pointing to the floor because the peach one's on the floor, but the peach one was a plastic clasp, so it's a little easier to break. So I guess this one's like slightly more high quality, but not by much. 
terms of the bottoms, I think these were cut the exact same way as, <laughs> I'm pointing to the floor again, but the exact same way as the peach ones were, minus the ribbing. So this one does not have ribs on the bottom, but it also gives me a weird like camel toe vibe. And the back has that same problem where it kind of scrunches up. Essentially, what it does is like it causes this weird wrinkling and I'm not a fan of it. Like I just don't think the wrinkling looks good. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but there's definitely a lot of wrinkling there. So I don't know. Like, I wouldn't say these are too big. Like, these are definitely my size. I got them in a small. So these bottoms do fit true to size. I think it's just the ribbed ones where you need to go down a size. But these are my size and they're still a little loose in the bum. Not even loose because like the actual band part fits perfectly fine like if anything it like could borderline give me like that like quadruple bum cheek situation so i know for a fact it's not too big it's just like in the middle for that some weird reason it just really wants to crinkle and wrinkle and i don't know what that is so this entire suit gets a thumbs down from me i would not buy it in stores nor would i keep it if it was gifted to me and i don't know if that's really harsh or not but i'm just really picky with swimsuits because i don't have many of them so if i'm going to get a swimsuit i want it to look like chef's kiss you know so I've mentioned a lot of times that a lot of things were sold out and I just really, really, really want you guys to know that I tried my utmost best to get sets, but at this point they basically just didn't have any bottoms, which is weird because usually it's the other way around where people buy a lot of tops because bottoms are kind of interchangeable. But for some reason at the garage I went to, they were all sold out of bottoms and not so much tops in my size. So the next few tops are exactly that. Like they're just tops, they don't come with bottoms. So I'm actually going to be wearing my own bottoms with it. So the next swim top is this really, really, really cute swim top. I think it's a bandeau, but it comes with like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of string. So I'm assuming it's going to be like one of those bandeaus that like has obviously like the bandeau part in the top and then it just like crisscrosses around your body a whole bunch of times. I've been seeing those swimsuits a lot and I think they're really, really gorgeous. I'm just not a huge fan of the tan lines you're going to get, but nonetheless, I think it's going to be really, really cute. So let's try it on. I got it in a size small in $22.95. So this is the top. I obviously kept the same bottoms on as the previous one because this one didn't come with bottoms slash the bottoms were sold out. But this top, this top took me for a ride because it had so many straps. Like the string was just so long and it was so confusing. And the thing is, it's just one really long string. Like if you look in the back, like these straps go in through like here, which cross over into like here, which like cross all the way around your body. So it took me for a ride, but I finally figured it out and I actually think it's really cute. I don't know if I've wrapped it properly. Um, yeah, I don't know if I wrapped it properly slash I feel like I need to be even fitter to be able to wear this because like it kind of cuts me in like where all of the straps are making me kind of look like a sausage. But besides that, I think it's really, really cute. I love the color. I like that the cups match the shape of the swimsuit unlike the other one where you could clearly see the cups like this one that's not the case it's also a darker color or like less transparent color so it makes it a little easier to get away with like weird looking cups i also like that it is just like a bungee string and the crisscrosses in the back are super cute like super cute the tan lines you would get from it are absolutely redonkulous but for an ig pick or like just a cute snap i think this top is a winner so it does fit true to size and it says that the pads are removable which is great so if you actually don't like pads you just slip them right out throw them out the window but Overall, this top gets a 10 out of 10. I really, really like it. I would buy it and I would keep it if it was gifted to me. So good on you, Garage. I actually really like this top. So this next top I got, I got purely because of the color. I am in love 
with this royal blue color. I don't know why it gives me Little Mermaid vibes because the Little Mermaid had nothing in it that was this color, but I'm just so in love with it. It's also like a metallic-y blue and not just like a plain blue, which I also think is really, really cute. I'm a big fan of keyholes, so that's another plus. And the straps are also adjustable. So this top all around, I've got some high expectations for. I got some high expectations for. I think it's going to be really, really cute. So let's try her on. So for this swimsuit, I decided to put on my own bottoms just because I figured black would match with everything else that I'm wearing the best. And in case you're wondering, my arms are across my chest because this swimsuit is for a child. The back isn't even adjustable, so I know for a fact, like it's just straight up small, I think. I managed to adjust the straps because the straps are adjustable, as you guys can see. But the top, like, there is a lot of my breast coming out the bottoms and in the front it's like a really big keyhole i don't know who this top is for but i am incredibly uncomfortable in it like one wave and this top is out of here like it is in the ocean ariel's going to find it like <sighs> This top is not for me. It is not for me. If you are going to get this top, I recommend you size up like times two or three. If you are a big busted girl, I would recommend you never get this top because you're never gonna find a size that fits you. Okay, if I like really, really tie it together and like pull, like pull these triangles apart, then like it kind of fits and it gives me like some nice cleavage over here, but ugh, it's still too small and I have a feeling I just have, I just feel it in my soul that the second I go out with this top, I'm gonna like move or like go to get a volleyball or something and this top is just gonna like straight up. Like just, just, it's about to be a nude beach. So this top gets a no from me. It would be a yes if I sized up though because the pro with this is that it's a beautiful color. Like I'm in love with this specific swimsuit color. I wish it fit me, I really did, but unfortunately it does not. But if it did, I would I would keep it. It does. So this next top I got, I also mainly got because of the color, but I also just really like the cut of it. It almost looks like a classic bikini top that ties around your neck, but instead it goes across your shoulders, kind of like a bra would, which is why I really like it. It also has the ribbing material. Okay, so my camera actually died mid-film, so I have no idea where I left off, but essentially I think I was just saying that I really like the swimsuit, I really like the color, I like the ribbed details on it, but that it was really, really thin and it had no cups, which meant it was going to make me look even flatter than I already am. I think that's kind of where I had left off on everything, so let's just try it on. So this swimsuit has some pretty great redeeming qualities, like the straps don't feel cheap, like they're good to go, I really really like the color, the back is just like a clasp back, kind of like the peach one and the white one with the notch in it, so it's just really secure, I don't feel like it's gonna come flying off of me, it feels like pretty supportive in my opinion, but again I don't have much to support, so I wouldn't take a gamble if you are a bigger breasted lady. Now, stars and stairs. Those were all the stars, now here's a couple of the stairs. So the first part is I think it's a little small for me even though I got it in my size. I don't know if I've just been wearing swimsuits the wrong size my entire life, but my nip is like right here. Like where it's sewn to be is like here. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm most likely wrong and I've just been wearing the wrong size my entire life, but like, I don't know, I feel like it was made a little small, but again, I think I'm wrong because the longer I'm looking at it in the viewfinder, the more it looks normal and the more it looks correct. So I think it's just me that thinks it looks weird. So completely scrap everything I just said, it fits the way it's supposed to fit. 
Now in terms of fabric, it is the same fabric and material as the white swimsuit with the notch in it and by that I mean the actual cup itself is very very thin material and there's no cup so I feel supported like I said because the band is doing a pretty good job of supporting me but I also mentioned that I don't have much to support so if you are a bigger breasted lady this might not be the ideal swim top for you especially because these straps are so so thin and from what I understand for girls that are bigger chest it, these start to really dig into your shoulders from the weight that it's carrying and it's just not going to be comfortable so for all of my fellow like ITBC members this is great it's going to fit on you amazing but for all the girls that are more blessed up top than I am you might want to hold off on this swim top okay and the very last swimsuit that I'm going to be trying on for you guys is a classic black bikini top now this one is super super cute it's definitely not like your stereotypical just like black triangle bikini it's got some ribbing on it which we all know is very popular because I've said it many times it also has like this ruched side that you can either make bigger or smaller which I think is kind of cool and the back kind of goes over your shoulder just like a regular bra would and it has adjustable straps the back also comes with a clasp like this so you can just kind of hook it on that's how you close the bra and I think because it has an underwire it is going to do a lot for the ladies if you are also part of the IBT community overall I think it's just a really nice swimsuit to have which is why I got it because just like that little black dress I feel like it's just one of those staples everyone just has to have an all black swimsuit the one thing that I will say though is for bikini tops that have underwires and like legitimate cups like this I feel like it should be sized the same way bras are sized so like a 32a 32b 36d like stuff like that because just a small medium large isn't quite enough to handle the large range of different sizes that women are especially when it comes with a cup like this so that's my only con about this so far so let's just try it on I think I'm going to really like it so let's get to that so the last swimsuit I got for you guys is this classic black top actually no I'm not going to call it classic because it has some pretty non-classic features for example it is a ribbed material and there's some ruching on the sides of the cups here and it also is exactly that like it's got an underwire so it's there to support my bigger busted girls if you need some support this top will definitely give it to you it still has some pretty thin straps but I think because the straps don't go around your neck and they actually just go around the back like so that it would still be able to give you some support without putting too much strain on your neck this definitely fits true to size I got it in a size small and it fits me great in my opinion I don't really have too much to say about it I'm just gonna say if you want like a nice black swimsuit that's going to be a bit of like a push-up then this is the one for you so with all of that said that is all of the swimsuits that i am trying on for you guys today so let's head back to my studio so i can get some final thoughts all right well that was me trying on a whole bunch of swimsuits from garage admittedly more tops than bottoms but by now i'm sure you guys know why so i'm not going to complain about it any more than i already have i would say my top picks for this haul specifically in terms of bottoms were the ruched bottom like metallic lilac bottoms now they weren't the ones that I thought I was going to like initially the most because like I said I like those high high cut bottoms that make me look a lot more leggy because of the way I'm proportioned but I just think these were the most flattering out of all of them because a they didn't wrinkle so much at the butt or when they did they were supposed to because they're ruched and they didn't give me a massive camel toe like the other ones did so thumbs up for this metallic bottom in terms of tops my favorite top has to be the bandeau but not actually a bandeau just because I really like the crisscrossing and the lacing and I think in general it was a very flattering swimsuit 
Yes, it would give you the most ridiculous tan lines in the world, but for a quick Instagram pic, I think this swimsuit killed it. I don't even know if I really have to say it, but my bottom pick would definitely be this metallic blue swimsuit. And I'm really disappointed because I had such high hopes for it, like it had adjustable straps, it had a keyhole, I loved the color, but when I actually tried it on, you can imagine why I wasn't a fan of it. If I sized up in it, maybe I would have liked it a lot more than I did, but for the way it ended up turning out on bod, I am just not, just not a fan. So those were my top and bottom picks for this entire haul. Everything else just kind of fell somewhere in between, but admittedly closer to the bottom range than the top. I do want to give Garage a second chance though, just because in store they didn't have a lot of my sizes or a lot of styles left. So I think if I went online and actually shopped around a little more, I would be able to find things that were in my size and a lot more styles to choose from, especially in terms of getting tops and bottoms to match. With all of that said, I think that brings me to the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and to subscribe down below. I put out videos every single Wednesday, so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!